a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hi everyone, I'm Pauline Marston Tomlinson and it is my pleasure to share with you another episode of Alpha. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we are truly grateful for another opportunity to study your words. And as we study your words, may they find lodgment in our hearts and we will be transformed for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. My fellow brethren, our topic today is in sickness and in wealth. The main texts are Isaiah 38 and 39. All the things that happen in these texts were close to the time that God saves Hezekiah from Sennacherib. If we look closely at Isaiah 38, verse 5 and 6, and 2 Kings 20, verse 6, Judah is in danger from Assyria, so the time is just before God saves his people. In Isaiah 38, we learn that Hezekiah was very, very sick, and the prophet Isaiah told him that God said he should set his house in order, and he would not live. Hezekiah wept bitterly, and he asked God for a sign. And indeed, God gave him a sign. God allowed the, sun, the shadow on the sundial to turn back 10 degrees, and this sign was to show Hezekiah that the Lord heard his prayer, and of course, he would answer the prayer. Now, my brothers and sisters, Satan wanted to kill Hezekiah. Why did Satan want to kill Hezekiah? Because he believed that with Hezekiah being dead, then Jerusalem could be easily destroyed. I pause here for a very important lesson, and that is the people of God should have good leaders. Strong leaders who will stand up for God, though the heavens fall. And I must share with you that Ezekiah got 15 years added to his life. As we look at Isaiah 39, we learn that after that miraculous healing from God, Ezekiah missed a very important opportunity to glorify God. Instead, what Hezekiah did was to show the treasures of his house to all the Babylonians that came to visit him. I need to stop here again. A very important lesson for us all. We are never to miss an opportunity to share the love of Jesus. Hezekiah allowed pride and vanity to fill his heart. And that is why instead of sharing the love of Jesus to all the Babylonians who did not fear or love God, he allowed the possession of this world to cause him not to share. My brothers and sisters, Ellen G. White pointed out that the Babylonians who were representatives of a powerful nation did not fear or love God in their hearts. And of course, this should be one of the main reasons for Hezekiah to deliver the word of God to them. Now, what are the life lessons we can take away from this story? I join with Ellen G. White in saying, the failure of Hezekiah to prove true to his trust in God is an important lesson for us. We need to speak of God's love. We should never fail an opportunity to share the love of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, if the question is asked of us, what do you have in your house? What will be your answer? What have your friends and acquaintances seen in your house? Are you instead revealing the treasures of the grace of Christ? 
displaying those things that will perish with using? Or do you, to those with whom you are brought in contact, communicate some new thoughts of Christ's character and work? I put it to you, my brothers and sisters. Let us never miss an opportunity to share Christ with others. And I want you to understand too that we must lay up treasures in heaven. We should not be so much concerned about our earthly possessions as these things will be destroyed. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we truly want to thank you for the example you have given us in the Bible. Of course, we can learn from Hezekiah that we should never miss an opportunity to share the love of Jesus with others. We should never be so caught up in the things of the world that we are not mindful that there are those who need to hear about Jesus and his love. So I pray that you will instill in our hearts the willingness to share you with others as we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Join us again for another episode of Alpha. God bless you. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.